that the majority of the American people aren't imperialists, but the government is, the structure is, the power faction is. So, what, how, how then do all the majority go along with it? Because those who sit in power over the television, over the radio, and over the press, is constantly telling those who are the masses how free they are. Unfortunately, uh, Jimmy Dore used to work here. I love Jimmy Dore. <laughs> I always have. Uh, it's a decision I deeply regret. Bless his heart. And, and I want to thank him for all the wonderful moments we had and the, and the great shows that he did on the TYT network. Uh, we hire a wider range of folks and sometimes it goes wrong. And Jimmy's one of those examples. We had uh, wonderful, wonderful moments on the air with Jimmy. Jimmy is wildly entertaining. Uh, and the smears and the attacks, they were deeply personal in nature. You know, some people say, hey, you know, Jimmy's been wrong once or twice. Show me someone who hasn't. So uh, both Anna and I got frustrated, and at one point she sent him a DM that I'm gonna, uh, that Jimmy's gonna talk about in this clip that we're gonna show you. She's gonna try and gin up some kind of bullshit like this, some kind of hashtag me too against me. I wanna be clear about something. So the DM that I sent him um, specifically called him out on his constant sexual harassment of me at this place. I've been holding back, letting you run your mouth nonstop as if you're some sort of warrior for what's good in the world. That's going to change. Um, I also want to be clear that I didn't talk about it with anyone. I didn't never talked about it with Jenk until very recently. She says, I'm sure you remember when you constantly made inappropriate comments about how sexy you found me at work. Constant harassment online. Uh, that was followed by an apology card you wrote me for the degrading harassment. Kept going and going and going, directing trolls at me nonstop. So by the way, why didn't Anna tell me? Uh, because I would have fired him. I don't know if you ever watched the Young Turks, but all they talk about uh, in the second hour when I used to be there was the most outrageous sex stories in the world. Jake literally sat next to Anna and said if he was, if he was in government, he would make it legal for people to have sex with animals. I would legalize bestiality where you are giving, where you are pleasuring the animal. Where there was like a guy or a girl or something that was pleasuring a horse, and the horse came to a conclusion, right? So who got harmed? You know that because what you're saying sounds kind of funny. A lot of people who are being can actually like have an orgasm. But number one, you're being an unbelievable downer. I, if you really ask the horse, did you mind? The answer's gotta be Aah! So he just tells a story like, ha ha. Parts of the story that aren't true. Of course Anna wasn't wearing a skirt that short. It was degrading, obviously. And they are. Have you seen the picture of Eva Longoria's panties? Okay, what type of panties do you think Eva Longoria wears? Let me give you my real guess. Okay. Something cutie, like, uh, like te teddy bears on it or balloons or lollipops or something like that. Mm -hmm. She wears something known as Spanx. Let's go to the picture. I don't know what that is. Ooh, I can't see the panties, but I'm still having fun. Okay, they're like nude biker shorts. Yeah, I'm in. You're in. Winner, winner. We happen to catch a little bit of cellulite, we're gonna be all over her ass, yeah, right? Yeah, but now we That's know. That's why she's gotta Spanx it up. <laughs> Whereas you, you can throw around a little junk in the trunk and nobody sees the, you know, nobody's the wiser. She, he wrote me that apology card to basically try to calm things down. I love our members, but I want to be clear about who we are and the kind of audience we want to foster. Because this isn't just about building an audience, it's about building a movement. Yeah, I'm fucking better than you, okay? Much better than you. You are garbage. Because we work with our audience all the time in uh, pressure campaigns in regard to like Congress and ensuring that we get a vote on a $15 an hour minimum wage. He didn't do a campaign to force a vote for $15 minimum wage. He didn't do that like I did for force to vote for a Medicare for all. He didn't try to make the progressives do anything. He knows this is not going to happen, that they're not going to do what they're supposed to. And they're going to let it, uh, the co they're going to vote for a COVID bill without a $15 minimum wage. And if they, and they have all the leverage and they're not gonna use, so he knows that's happening. They're good people. Um, but um, tonight they'll meet uh, and they will very, 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 very likely decide to do nothing about putting $15 minimum wage back into the COVID relief bill. But understand that at the end, Max Blumenthal is talking about us being in the gutter.
a couple uh, got caught making more than a hundred tapes where a woman is uh, having sex with dogs. The woman's son found the tapes. He turns them into the cops. Man, you want to talk about a snitch? Man, you gonna snitch out your mom having sex with dogs? I think the son's more messed up than the uh, parents. First of all, the bestiality, I get it, some people are into bestiality, right? Is that legal? No, it's not legal. Okay. Because you're taking advantage of the dog. Right. I want to come back to that in a second. That we're in the gutter and that Jimmy is the one trying to clean us up and get, get into a, and engage in a rational conversation with us. So then I think, is it really dog if the dog came, right? Oh, gee. <laughs> okay, if you're going to do crazy stuff, do it with a human, right? Uh, going after our appearances. Not in an unhealthy body weight, at least I don't think I am. <laughs> but, but you know, it, it, it yeah, yeah, don't call them fat. I, Attention, get off the stage, you fat. The Roger Waters was on. They're so ecstatic. They're like, oh my God, a random Pink Floyd guy from like 80 years ago. To listen to that garbage and disgusting and foul mouthed, I have to say. <laughs> I think so poorly of them. And the reason why is because, look, I don't think that you're a single issue voter. I just think you're dumb. Okay? I think you're fucking dumb. <laughs> that young lady, well, I, I, I hesitate to call her a young lady because she's not. She's clearly not in the prime of youth. How insulting would it be if I walked into a surgeon, uh, a surgeon performing open heart surgery, and I said, mm, you know what, I think that artery needs some work. But the fact is, it, how, how dare she pontificate on some tin or fucking show like the fabulous Young Turks or whatever they call them. Who the fuck are they? I have a hard time not disliking friends of mine who support Hillary. I am not going to waste my borrow yes. on whatever the young fucks are, because I'm. That was disgusting. But they purport to be thinking young people who have an alternative. Yeah. They're not. Yeah, they that's, are yeah. the status quo. I understand if if they might be ignorant on some policy ideas, but I have friends. That I fucking have... stupid fat prick. It's, it's just as long as they're throwing the f word around. And he couldn't help himself, so Roger Waters says this as everybody else nods along, yeah, let's do more sexism. I mean, and that woman, I haven't the faintest idea who she is, but she obviously can't read or write. Because I actually have principles. And again, look, we're talking about this because I want more than anything to put this behind me, despite the fact that the attacks are going to continue, I know that. that way to go Aaron you did it um, okay yeah, yeah. And so gets fuck paid Aaron by the yeah fuck you anyway let's so there's few things as disgusting as that right that's just they've gotten so used to McCarthy smearing people who they don't like they did it to Julian Assange uh, so he's he's all for bombing brown people uh, over at the Young Turks. They're all for it. They always are. And if you debunk a pro-war narrative, they will smear you like they did. Instead of saying I'm paid by the Russians or saying I'm working for Assad, she's now going to try to pretend I sexually harassed her when I was at the Young Turks. She's just now she has to make it up because we're coming at her on her journalism. So we're calling out there her journalism and her McCarthyite smears. And this is how she responds. Anna Kasparian used to dress when I worked there uh, unbelievably inappropriately for a newsroom. She looked like she was going to a rave. The skirt, one time she came into the newsroom with a skirt so short. It wasn't a pencil skirt. It was like a fluffy one too, but so short that she bent over in front of me and I literally saw her ass. But everybody saw it. And I go, hey, Anna, nice new skirt. And everybody laughed. Like they laughed louder than I thought they would. And so it humiliated her. She got humiliated in the middle of the newsroom. And I did it. And I felt bad. I, I, at that time, we were friendly. You're going to bend over and show me your ass? I think that's a little... I, I'm not offended, but I think that's a little risque. Um, imagine if I did that. If I walked around <laughs> showing my ass to everybody. And I felt bad for her. I didn't. I, I didn't want to make her feel that. But I just wanted to make a little joke because everybody saw how inappropriate she dresses. She used to dress, so that's why it got such a huge laugh. So I felt bad for her. So the next day, I wrote her a card saying, "Hey, I'm sorry. I won't do that again." 
that was inappropriate. You don't have to worry about that happening again. I won't comment on your clothes anymore. I should have said no matter how fucking ridiculous. <laughs> and what she, what she doesn't realize is that she's revealing that the reason why she's coming forward with this some kind of accusation isn't because it bothered her and it was true and that she was traumatized and that she's trying to get back at me because I'm telling her telling the world about their poor journalism. That's not how it's supposed to work. That's not supposed to be a retaliation for someone critiquing your work. Hey, everybody, this is the part where I tell you where all our live shows are, but there aren't any. Thanks for watching The Young Turks. I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. Hey, and then this is why I tell you to join our premium program and get extra content, but nobody's got a fucking job. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna. So just enjoy the video. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air some policy ideas but i have friends wonderful news for the company we actually did get an investment uh, that was announced yesterday it's 20 million dollars which to us is a lot of money i'm not taking any big donors a lot of money so a uh, natural question people ask is about the investors. So um, uh, what do they want to do and what are their motivations? They put the money in because they like what we're doing. And they said, that's it, that's what we want to back. See, that's how it works. Right, just because they gave them billions of dollars, they don't, do they want something in return? Of course they want something in return. So please don't be naive and be like, no, but the corporations will look out for our interests. No, they look out for their bottom line. No, I'm not taking any big donors. Of course they're not evil. It's just that they're driven to make more money. Of course, that is the whole point of maximizing profit. See, that's how it works. I'm not taking any big donors. Um. All right, all right, all right. Let's uh, we are in fact owned by Cutter. No, we're not. <laughs> I love the conspiracy theories that people put out there. Oh, Qatar owns you or... Fun Remedy, we've got a new partnership. It's with AJ Plus, uh, that's a digital only channel for Al Jazeera. So now, uh, but I do practice deception for a fairly long period of time, but all the fake news outlets were immediately wiped away. Would that be him speaking or his donor speaking? Because he takes money from corporations and billionaires, he takes big money. I do not, we do not. If you sense that we're not doing the right things, get rid of us and go find someone else. Do you have any people being paid by the CIA who are contributing to the National News Services, AP and UPI. Well, again, I think we're getting into the kind of detail, Mr. Chairman, that I'd prefer to handle in executive session. I think it was entirely in order for our correspondents at that time uh, to make use of the uh, CIA agent ch uh, chiefs uh, of station and other members of the executive staff of CIA as sources of information which were useful in their assessments of world conditions. Say that continues today? Well, I, yeah, I would think probably for a reporter it would continue today, but because of all of the revelations of the period of the 1970s, uh, it seems to me that a reporter has got to be much more circumspect in doing it now, or he runs the risk of uh, at least being looked at with considerable disfavor by the public. I think you've got to be much more careful about it.